Welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 Restoration. For those of you new, my name is Barry. Very brief update. As you've seen, I've took out the valve chest. I wasn't going to test it because I didn't have the hydraulic power pack to test it with. Um, now both Campbell and Lance have suggested using me injector tester to connect it up. So I gave it a bit of thought. And what we've come up with is I have a spare manifold block. So plan is cut the pipes off, drill and tap the ports underneath here, um, blank off this one, put a blank and plug in here, put a BSP connector adapter into here so we can put a pipe onto it. I've ordered the pipe, I've ordered the connector, the M14 to quarter BSP for the, the hydraulic injector pump end so we can get that connected up. The only thing I haven't got ordered at the minute is some sort of blanking system for this one. Right, I will get that ordered, I will, I'll pop along to be local plumbers, merchants, whatever. These are 5 eighths pipes. So I'm going to pop along there and see if there's a simple solution, like a Yorkshire fitting, what we call Yorkshire in the UK. There's a cap that goes on, you heat it up and it just solders on. So um, we'll see if we can get something like that, or whether we drill and tap the block and thread a blanking cap in. We'll see. But it's a good job I've got a spare one of these, isn't it? Right, next little update. Let's have a look on the bench. Another little answer. Lance put in the comments, did we ever find out what was causing the ends of the needle valve to get bent? Because I had put, and I'll put a picture back up. I'll put a picture up with the needle valve end. The very end gets bent. And I messaged a few people and we had a look around and the answer that we came up with seems to be about the most plausible one. This is the manifold block off the front of the um, valve chest. If you can see here, there's a recess in there. Let's change hands. Coppers are coming, coppers are coming. That that washer fits into and that stops the needle valve from being threaded right out when this is all in place so that if that's in place you've got your control panel on the front with a knob on it up beside your, your angle that you're turning which screws the valve in also screws the valve out well that washer stops it from totally coming out now, this is the only, as I say, this is the only thing we can think of is when the manifold is on the front of the valve chest, just pop this on to hold it for a minute to demonstrate this. That needle valve with the washer on cannot be put into the valve chest. Same as, if it's in there, it cannot be got out. And we were of the opinion, this is main Colin up in Scotland, we were of the opinion that what some people's been doing, popping that in there and knocking it in with a hammer. And that the end of the needle gets bent as it's forced in along the in a wall of that recess. That's the only thing we can think of. What you have to do is you have to withdraw your block. Put in your needle valve 
and then put on the block. If you can find the holes in the dock. E man. There we go. Now, as I say, that then prevents that needle valve from being totally withdrawn from the chest accidentally as you are twiddling your control button on the front. And Campbell did say when you've got to sit in about, take your needle valve out just in case it stops any damage doesn't it okay that's it quick catch up right guys video out tomorrow night at 1700 hours UK time um, and it was one from Sunday night I'm not going to tell you what it is because then you look at and watch it right tomorrow night 1700 20 minutes 20 minute video right guys thanks for visiting as always, time greatly appreciated. Remember, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. Catch you in the next one tomorrow night. Bye now.